look, pal. He looks like a head from Master or something. Hello. Good evening. What's your name? My name is Stephen Hall. Stephen? Hall. H A double L. Thank you for clarifying that. How old are you, Stephen? I'm 53. And um, what's your job? I'm a telecommunications engineer. Do you think that what you're going to do for us is suitable for the royal variety? I do indeed, yes. OK. You've got two minutes to possibly change the rest of your life. Good luck. Thank you. Here we go. You broke my heart Cause I couldn't dance You didn't even want me around But now I'm back To let you know that I can really shake them down Good evening. How are you? Good, thank you. Good, good. Right, tell us a bit about yourself. My name is Marc Métral. I come from Paris. Bonjour. So what are you going to do for us today? I have a special guest for you. Okay. Can I invite? Sure. Yeah. Just for you, Miss Wendy. Come on. Oh, Wendy! Down here. Sit down. Okay, you can't fall down, don't worry. That dog is cute. Isn't she lovely? Hello, I am Marc Metral. I am 61 and I come from Paris. How are you feeling about today? Well, you know, when you work with, with a live dog, it's always... Anything can happen? Yeah, yeah. fragile. I grew up in a little village in France, and my parents was peach farmers. It's a, a, it was a hard life. If you like peach, I can bring you a good one. So what yeah. kind of dog is Wendy? It's a, a Rottweiler. <laughs> <laughs> I have this dog since she has two months. Without air, I will be nothing. You think about your audition? Everything going to be all right, no? Vivian, my wife, she told me you are crazy to, to make a pretend called talent. But to play in front of a royal family. For me, it's like a dream. I'm always dreaming, even at my age. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Hey, you can say good evening. You speak English? It's my night. <laughs> Come on, hey, say something. No. What, what, why not? It's, it's fantastic, come on. It's presency Dutch. Yes. Oh, my God. No, no, listen. I English? See. Si. 
Spanish. Oui. Français. OK. OK. Hey, Wendy, listen to me. You think I am stupid? Yes. <laughs> this is brilliant! I want one! So, well, you don't want to speak anymore? No. Okay. And now? Oh, yes, I want. <laughs> you, know, you know how to sing? No. What? Yes, yes, yes. Good. Okay. Where we listen to you? Meow. It's bow wow, eh? You understand? Meow. Yeah. Music, please. We're gonna sing something for you, all right? Okay, don't look at me. Look at the audience, like that. Feelings, come on. Feelings. Nothing more. Nothing more. Nothing Trying to forget. All together, okay? No. Please, come on. It's, it's pretty good talent, okay? All together. Feelings. Ay, ay. Feelings. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> Carl's face is awesome. This is my good friend, uh, Passaro. It's a Brazilian word. Uh, it means bird. Bird, bird, bird. They call me third. Bird. Third Newton. Look at her, Miss Miss French. See, <laughs> the vixen of Diddley. <laughs> it's actually vicar of Dibley. You pray for what you want. I'll pray for what I want. That's funny. Who the hell is that? That's Kyle. <laughs> He's ugly. That's enough. You don't. <laughs> Sorry. But... That was a matter of time. You don't tell him he's ugly, huh? You don't do that. Apologise, huh? Tell him you're sorry. I'm oh, sorry you're ugly. No. I apologise, Carl. I'm sorry. I love you, Miss French. <laughs> Don't say that. I love her. Talk to her properly. Huh? Engage her in conversation. How old are you? No, no, no. <laughs> you, you don't ask a lady her age. What year are you the one? No. <laughs> I love you. I know you love her. Stop saying it. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> All right, that's enough, that's enough. I'm going to sing to her. <laughs> There's no song, we're not doing a song. Hit the music! And I... I will always love you. Yes, I will always love you. Of love. Thank you. This is the story about love when a guy meets a girl in a bar. He sees the girl, he looks at her, and all he wants to say is a great big hello. <laughs> is it me you're looking for? <laughs> she looked lovely. The dress that night she was wearing was. 
gold. She wasn't looking at it, so he showed her his best dance moves. She comes over, she says to go, hey, you look thirsty. You want a drink? What you want? Tequila. What? Tequila. Why? It makes me happy. Fair enough. <laughs> the girl looks at the guy and says, I'm sorry, I've got to go to the toilet. Don't go, he says. Please don't go. Suddenly, the girl comes back. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose I think I like it. The girl laughs at the guy and says, Hey, want to come back to my place for a coffee? The guy says, Hey. I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. So the guy got with the girl, and now they've been together for 45 years. <laughs> if I could turn back time. And that is the fairy tale of love. Thank you for watching. Yes, yes, yes. 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 David. And what's your act, dude? I'm dancing. Who do you aspire to be like in the world of dancing? Who are your heroes? One of my heroes is Justin Timberlake. Okay, off we go. I see you comb your hair and give me that grin. It's making me spin now, spinning within. Before I melt like snow, I say hello. How do you do? David, look, the Thanks. truth is that you are completely and utterly useless. <laughs> right? I mean, yes or no? Absolutely not. Who did? Simon, the judges, and all of a sudden, up most of the audience. Now I just feel stupid being there on that stage in front of all those people, telling them the f of them running off. Well, what? Would you regret swearing at them now? Regret running off? Do you want to go back on and, and speak to the judges and apologise, maybe, and, and and have a conversation with them, yeah? Yeah? I want to say sorry for what I did. Okay, go on then. All right, cool. Go on. Starters, I want to apologise to all of your audience for, for losing it in front of you, because it wasn't right. And I sh Well, unfortunately, I come here to apologise and to talk to them, and all you could do is say that. I mean, come off it. Oh, so it kicks off again. Oh. Wait a minute, we didn't actually say anything, did we? See, it felt like I was getting a mockery from the audience. Now, do you know how that feels? Stand yeah, on that, here but and you them came, laugh at but you. But listen to me. You, you chose to come here today. You chose to show us your skills in front of this audience. What do you expect if it doesn't go your way? It's not always going to go your way. Yeah, this but is show business. I wasn't business. expecting the booing. Uh, David, <laughs> David, nobody is... Not listening to her. Oh, so, seriously, if that's what you get from an audience after trying to apologise, they stand on the stage and do it. That's wow. really ridiculous. You can't expect to come to an audition How and everybody you like you. How could you say that? I've just got to carry on with what I want to do. Right. And I've got to show that Simon Cowell that who's boss. See, that's a better attitude. Yeah, it is. you had before running off. A lot better. Yes. yes. So they can all go and beep. What? See it, go on, yes. see it. Go on, tell them. Go on, tell them. They can <laughs> <laughs> eh? Go on. Get this. 
going to bring you on set. Okay. All set for you on stage, so we'll just head down this way. Okay. Do you want to do it? Yeah, I want Come on, to. let's get you out Go there. on, then. Go and make them laugh. Cool. It's all yours. Good luck. Have fun. Hello. Hi. Hello. What's your name? Uh, Gattis Kandes. Where are you from? Uh, Latvia. OK, from Latvia. Why did you, why did you come here? Uh, I came, came here to live. My name is Gattis Kandis and I'm originally from Latvia, but now I live in uh, West Hendon near Sainsbury's and I'm going to be doing stand-up comedy. Uh, at the gigs I've been doing, uh, people usually laugh, but then sometimes I get heckled and it's painful. And sometimes they're just quiet, which is also painful. Yeah. Well, I'm That's looking forward to seeing Simon, and then I found out Carmen Electra is going to be there. Very excited to see her. And um, the other two judges. <laughs> well, David Williams is obviously, he's a, he's a comedian. All oh, right, OK. I, I didn't know that David's going to be there. OK. Do you know who he is? No. OK, good luck. Um, OK. Uh, um, OK, uh, hello. Uh, are there any guys with big muscles in the audience? No, good, then I'll talk about them. Um, it, you, know, you know, those big muscles make those guys so heavy that they cannot ride a pony. Um, However, they can break a fragile toilet seat. I mean, I mean, do they work out to attract the ladies? Well, actually, the ladies are attracted to what's inside of a man. Uh, back me up, ladies. If you agree, say yeah. Rapidly moving on. Uh, public toilets. Can't live without them, can't live in them either. Uh, because there is no fridge and microwave there. <laughs> Often when I use the male toilet, some guys there uh, fart very loud and I don't like that. So when possible, I sneak into the ladies' toilets instead uh, because they're much more discreet about it. Well, at least when they know that I am there. Uh, seeing is believing, and weeing is relieving. He's the funniest bloke we've had in Hammersmith. More. Yes. <laughs> are, are you well? Yeah. No, you're not a well, you, you're a person. <laughs> What is going on here? You are the funniest, unfunniest comedian I have ever heard in my life. I mean, absolute rubbish, but <laughs> it actually really, really made me laugh. Yeah, that, that was my uh, aim, to make you laugh. Well, you certainly did that, Gattis. It was so bad that it was actually brilliant. Yeah. You mustn't change. You seriously must not change. Okay. Not even the jumper. Keep the jumper. <laughs> well, what's wrong with my jumper? There's nothing wrong with it. It's hilarious. I'm going to kick this off because you did actually make me laugh, and that's what comedians are supposed to do, so I'm going to say yes. Thank you so much. It's a no from me today. Oh. David? So it rests with me. The way you must judge comedy is, did it make you laugh? It made me laugh. I'm going to say yes. yes. Well, it's 
see if under all that facial fuzz, our judges can find a whisker of talent. Is all, is all that real? It's real, yeah. It's all right. You're obviously brothers. We are, we're yes. twins. Yeah, what are your names? The Nelson Twins. The Nelson Twins. And um, have you been performing for long? Well, I've been performing for about five years and uh, hopefully he starts tonight. <laughs> all right, well, let's have a look at what you've got, Lucas. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's great to be here. I'm that excited. I'm beside myself. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. We're the Nelson Twins. My name's Justin, and this is my identical twin sister, Sharon. <laughs> well, we should tell you a bit about ourselves. We come from a small country town in New South Wales called Walbundry, and we used to be apprentice bakers which is a coincidence, because we're in bread. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's been my tea. <laughs> well, Bundry was a small town. It had one shop, one pub, and one prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> Mum found it pretty tough working three jobs. Our mum didn't even know she was having twins until she was six months pregnant. And our dad was even more surprised, because he'd been in jail for three years. <laughs> Being twins, we can send each other telepathic messages, but Telstra found out about it. <laughs> and it's now in good plan. <laughs> it's really frustrating knowing what each other's thinking. We once played a game of rock, paper, scissors that lasted three years. <laughs> I really hate going through airport security at the moment, but I love flying, because every time we catch a flight somewhere, I always sit at the front of the plane and he sits at the rear. <laughs> then I tell the gay flight attendant to meet me at the back in five minutes. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> bit nervous. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, I'm Phil W. Green. Um, I'm 21, and I'm going to be doing comedy impressions. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Fella, do you do this full time? Uh, no, I don't, no. What do you do? I work at Body Shop at the moment as a uh, customer consultant. I bet your dream is to be a big international yes, star. Yes, I'd love to be on stage. <laughs> Philip, did you bring anyone with you? So, uh, yeah, my friend Christy. Did she work at Body Shop? She did, but she's recently left. Why? Because she found a better job. <laughs> <laughs> found a better job! Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> Where? Um, she now works um, at Barrett's, <laughs> so... <laughs> Shoes! <laughs> I hope it's good after all of this. OK, well, look, Philip, you've got roughly two minutes. Let's do it. OK. Hello, I'm Natalie Cassidy. <laughs> and today, we're going to be health working out. So everyone put your hands out in front of you, spread your legs and do some squats. <laughs> <laughs> Lie down the baby on Martin Fowler's sofa. Isn't that right? Dog Cotton would be proud, wouldn't she? <laughs> oh, it's so nice to be here on my new show. And today's guest is absolutely fantastic. You know what? I'm going to meet her. Hello. Oh, thanks for having me show the ring. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, I'm really nervous. Oh. And then, oh, I was on uh, go out of the jungle recently. Oh, my God. I mean, I saw those ones. And I was like, whoa. And then I saw even more ones. And I was like, whoa. And then they tried to make me even ones. And I was like, whoa. And I was like, whoa. whoa. And then I was being sick everywhere. Oh my goodness, have you seen the bacteria in here? It is awful. <laughs> Isn't that right, Kim? Oh, my love. <laughs> oh, that stinks. <laughs> Darling, it's me, Louis Spence, dancing. Everyone, let's duck. Come on, duck. Everyone, come on, duck. Everyone, duck. Duck. And down. Duck. And down. And split. <laughs> duck. Oh. Ooh.
you very much indeed. How many of you here tonight are ready to enter the land of make-believe? <laughs> Looks like Howie's already in the land of make-believe, which makes you the perfect person to join me up here on stage. Would you mind? Let's hear it for Howie Mandel, everyone. Yes, thank you. In your own time, Howie. I understand your logic. The longer, the longer you take, the shorter my act. I quite understand. Have a seat there, Howie. Tonight, live from Radio City, you are going to become a human ventriloquist dummy. OK, now all you have to do... All you have to do is keep looking out there, all right? Let me do all the talking, OK? And I've got to say, that's a pretty good fit. By the way, uh, this is Charlie. Are you OK, Charlie? Yes, thank you. <laughs> First of all, we've got to find you a voice, something that matches your physical appearance, something butch, something macho. Are you OK? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, it shocked me. It shocked me. I was only joking. Do you want me to change the voice? No, no, I like it. OK. I want to say hello to my fans. You want to say hello to this lot? Yes. Turn to the people on the right, give them a big wave, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Nicely done. Now the people on the left, say hi to them. Hiya. And now the people right up the top, give them a big sexy hello. Hello. <laughs> Did you see them waving back? Yeah, idiots. Now stop touching me! What? Get away! What? Stop touching me! What do you mean I'm not touching? Get away! Okay, all right, all right, is that far enough? Perfect. <laughs> hey, how are you doing that? I've got a little controller in my hand here. Oh, wow, that's amazing. He's got a controller, he can control me. Yes, that's right. Oh, now he can have some fun. I don't want to be a judge. No. I want to be an act. You want to be an act? Yes, you go and judge me. You want me to judge you? Yes, go and sit in my seat. I can't sit in your seat. No, no, I insist. Well, <laughs> if you insist. <laughs> Hello, fellow judges. Hi. Uh, it's great to be here. OK, so um, I can't believe I'm a judge on America's Got Talent. So um, what's your name? Well, my name is, um, my name, um, sorry, I'm a bit nervous. Don't worry, take your time. <laughs> My name is Howie. Hello. Good evening, Howie. And what are you going to do for us tonight? Tonight, I want to do my dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you, you don't have to. No, no, I really want to. Yes. OK, so do you have some moves you'd like to show us? Oh, yes. Let me stand up, first of all. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> OK. First of all, I'd like to stretch. I'm going to do some stretching. I'll just stretch my arms like this. <laughs> and my legs like this. <laughs> OK, so now to business. OK, what are you going to do? I'm going to show you my twerking. <laughs> So, I turn around, I turn around, I put my hands on the seat, and I wiggle my butt. Um, is that it? Oh, yes. Hang on. Let me turn around again. Yes. OK, so that was fantastic. Don't make me laugh, though. I can't make you talk when I laugh. <laughs> so what are you going to do for your performance this evening? Tonight, I'm going to do some Irish dancing. <laughs> really? Naked. <laughs> I, I really don't think this is the show for that. So uh, oh. when you're ready, the stage is yours. Cute. The music.
Is this working? Yeah, I guess it's it is. It's working. We can hear you. Fantastic. Can okay. you hear me? Mm? Can you hear me? Can yes. you hear me? That answers your question. You. We could go on all night like this. Yes. You want to? Yeah, it, it would be great. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Ray Jessel. Would you share with us your age? Is My that rude age, of me I, to ask? I've got plenty to share. <laughs> 84. The I'm 84. 84. Wow. Are you excited to be here? I've never performed before judges before. Um, I've appeared before judges before. <laughs> Ray, what will you be doing for us today? Uh, a song I've written. Can't wait to hear it. All righty. Thank you. <laughs> what am I doing wrong here? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Very good. That's wonderful. Okay. And for my second song, I'd like to... Uh... <laughs> I met this girl, and she's just great. This girl I just adore. The problem is, she has much more. Than I had bargained for She's got that style She's got that smile She's got the walk She's got the talk She's got that zing There's just one thing She's got a penis She's got that flair, knows what to wear. She's got that face, that girlish grace. She's got pizzazz, too bad she has a penis. <laughs> now there's always some failure, always some flaw. Ain't that what they call Murphy's Law? But male genitalia, that's where I draw the line. Besides, hers is bigger than mine. <laughs> My life's a mess, cause under that dress, she's got a P-E-N-I-S. Yes. <laughs> 